Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the Liverpool Olympia. With me, I've got the new English super middleweight champion, Rocky Fielding. What's happening, Rocky? What's up, Luke? Good. Everything's good. Yeah. You, you must be over the moon. Um, emphatic stoppage, knockout win of um, Carl Dilks. Um, take me through the rounds. Yeah, you know, first round, second round, just, yeah, you know, I don't know, a bit slow, started a bit slow. Yeah, all of a good wee little telling off in the corner. Yeah, and then after the second round, I just started to find my rage there. I started to pick my shops a bit better. You know, give Kyle his due. We come out from the first, we come out from the first bell. I, I you know, put it on me and give it to me. You know, we did, I didn't expect that. I did, but I didn't expect it, I did expect it, but I didn't expect, I did expect it to be that quick and let a big shots go. But, you know, I just had to listen to Oliver and after the second round, I stuck to the game plan and I got my shots off more than We've had a bit of a late finish here at the, uh, Liverpool Olympia. Um, what's your mindset as you're waiting? Because obviously this prize fight is going on. You're waiting to go on, and you know, I mean, I don't think you went on till about half eleven, was it? Till you come on. So, what, what, you know, what's going through your head as you're waiting to do this? Yeah, you know, it's just been the changing room since uh, our feet. You know, I've had a telly. Be watching the fight to prize fight. I think I've watched a bit too much of it though. Uh, you know, it's a long wait, half eleven to fight. Uh, but you know, it's. Boxers past the job, you've got to you've got to deal with it. But you know, we bad, we bad. I've got good people around me, and you know, we bad. We set on the fight, to, you know, the job ahead, and I had to just you know do the job. Eddie Earn told me you wanted a thousand tickets. He give you four hundred to sell. You got massive following from uh, Stockbridge and all over Liverpool. So they were very well behaved today, and it, it must give you such a buzz going into the into the ring now that you've got that sort of support. Yeah, a massive buzz, you know, because I walked out there, I had a, you know, I had a good look around and I see, you know, the arena was, the, re the arena was full, you know, the support, I've got good followers on Twitter, that, uh, the support, you know, in Liverpool, they're all, be all behind me, they're all behind the Scouts fighters, and I appreciated all of them, you know, I wanted a thousand tickets, but he wouldn't give me four, so I had to share that with you, the boxers. Uh, you know, I had to give them some, but you know, I appreciate the support what I've got, and I appreciate the fellas that have come out. You know, the fellas from over the water. Well done, lad. Fucking great. Well, I thank this one for a bit of sparring I've had with them over hey, the years. Hey, brilliant. He was great tonight. Spot on. Keep all of them. There'll be more of them to come. Go away. Go away, Bill. You. Um, I was just talking. I was just talking to Eddie Earn, and he told me that he feels within 12 months you'll be fighting for the British. Yeah, yeah, you know, we've had a sit down, oh, he's, he's mentioned it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep getting, you know, I've stepped up a level now. Um, I've got these tough fights, tough opponents like Dilks, who's been a Commonwealth level. He's been a prize fighter before, twice. He's got to the final, you know, he, he thought he won it and he got the decision against them. So, you know, step ups like that, you know, is, is what I need now, a bit of a test on that. Um, but, you know, whatever Eddie gets for us and it's right, you know, I'm happy to just keep cracking on and keep fighting and keep playing and, you know, keep getting good shows out of Liverpool. That's good support and, you know, keep it going. And just finally, obviously, you were headlining a show on Sky Sports uh, for the world to see, so your profile, you might even get a few extra Twitter followers. Yeah, I don't have to buy them now. <laughs> um, you know, I've got, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm you know, grateful for Sky Sports for, you know, letting me top a bill in my own city. Uh, you know, and Eddie for topping a bill in my own city on a, prize, on a top bill for prize fighter. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the people out there of Sky, you know, around the world, people are, you know, watching, you know, could just have a look at me and, you know, jump on the fan base and, you know, keep, keep following and keep going. Got me Twitter. There, there, so I the can't pan down because I ain't got a cameraman there, but we... Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> do you know how to do it, Anthony? <laughs> no, you're going to break that, Anthony. Leave that alone. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's at Rocky87 Fielding for people that can't see it. Yeah, thanks very much. Right, Rocky, I'm going back home to Essex where everything makes sense. Me and Anthony Lever are going home now, so... Stopping off and no hard shoulders, you two. No, <laughs> <laughs> no dog, no dog in sight. Oh, I can't even. I can't believe you actually come out with that. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I thought you were staying. I've got a party after party. No, I thought you were staying. I no. Yeah. So I yeah, appreciate all the life of London. Yeah, appreciate the interviews off here, and you know, hope to see you again.
Listen, we were interviewing you when you were wearing four rounders, so we'll be interviewing when you're fighting for world titles. Yeah, thanks very much, Kiko. Yeah, thanks. Right, this is Cook and Cassius with the new English super middleweight champion Rocky Fielding for iFilm London. Thank you, Rocky. Thanks very much. Rocky! <laughs> Thank you.